Hi guys and uh, Merry Christmas. I hope everyone has had a good and relaxing holiday and that you're safe and happy and that you've spent the time with your loved ones. Uh, in I'm not sure if there was the last video or the video before that, but I apologized for not posting that many videos and I am sorry that I haven't been able to keep my promise to post more videos but this year 2023 has been uh, well not very good year <laughs> they think they're getting their porridge, but it's a bit too soon. It's a bit too early. Yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted to give you an explanation um, for the lack of the videos this year. 2023 uh, three. <laughs> 2023 um, started off with Lucy getting sick and uh, that was painful and it was hurtful and it just it sucked um, I miss her every day and I think I think it was really unfair but anyways this video is not about Lucy but uh, the year started off with her getting sick and we had to put her down uh, hello <laughs> it's too early yeah sweetie pie it's too early for the porridge um, and the winter was really long um, the snow didn't melt until late April and then we had some days <laughs> maybe I don't know month month and a half maybe two with the summer and then the rain came in the middle of uh, June <clears throat> And I have a feeling that the whole summer just disappeared in the rain. And then the winter came in um, October. <clears throat> it was snow before Halloween, the week before Halloween. So maybe, yeah. Anyways, um, and now as you can see, it's a lot of snow. Um, my point is that I don't have that many places to be inside with the horses um, when I'm training and handling them. Um, so for me to film in bad weather, it's not very easy because um, my camera and my phone doesn't like it when they get soaking wet and that has been um, the reality for most of the days during this year so that's uh, an explanation for not that many videos and I <clears throat> have also um, been writing more on my book I haven't mentioned it to you guys before, but about two years ago, I started um, writing on this book, uh, taking notes, having um, ideas that I wrote down, and uh, I started writing for real this summer, um, and the book is about 
how to explain uh, the horse's reactions and uh, their neurosystems, um, their uh, their sight, their hearing, their feeling, their um, attunement to energy. Uh, yeah. Well, anyways, um, and how they communicate with us all the time, um, and how to read their signs and body language and energy and yeah all the things they use to co uh, communicate with each other they also use to communicate with us and if we just um, understand it and are aware of it uh, then we can understand what the horses are trying to tell us I have this um, cheat um, note. <laughs> um, and it's also about how uh, different personality types with humans connect and uh, fit together with the horse's um, personality types. And um, if the two types aren't a good match, then it will never be a good match with pre uh, between the horse and the human. <clears throat> and it's also about how to really connect with the horse in a deep level uh, from the ground before we mount them and go trail riding in the forest or jump um, fences or um, train dressage because the horses are really sensitive and they are so connected to every energy and if the horses or uh, if the horse doesn't know you and trust you and have a sense of trust with you from the ground before you mount them they don't really like it so well anyways um and how we as humans <clears throat> uh, affect the horses with our thoughts and feelings and energy and emotions and intention and focus and everything that's going on inside of us hello <laughs> well everything that's going on inside of us the horses are affected by and how when we get aware and can do something about it then um, we can help the horse in different situations <laughs> um, and yeah that's what the book is going to be about <clears throat> um, I also have um, made a website it's called in Norwegian, Harmonisk Hest, uh, uh, translated to English, Harmonious Horse, um, where I post blog, inleg, posts, yeah, uh, short uh, texts where I write about uh, different themes that's going to be in the book and it's because i hope it can be a good way to promote the book and um, make people interested in the book um, and i will i will um, uh, post it in uh, in the text below this video so that's 
uh, explanation of the lack of the videos this year. Both because of the weather, it's not been, it hasn't been a very easy weather to make many videos in. And I have been writing the book. Uh, and it's been a ooh, tough year because of losing Lucy and also Mooney this summer. Um, she had gotten old and it was time, but it still hurts and it's still a grieving process. Uh, and also I have had Corona, which knocked me out for a few weeks and yeah. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, guys, um, hopefully I will be able to make more videos uh, in 2024. Hopefully that's going to be a much better year. And I've also um, bought me some gadgets that will probably and hopefully make it easier for me to film since I do almost all the filming myself. Uh, so yeah, well, again, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. <laughs> I love you. Uh, stay connected to your horse and yeah. Bye guys, Lizzie out. Ow. Again. <laughs> <laughs>